evening, everyone. Welcome to your Sunday evening uh, prayer time, scripture reading, and a song we're going to do with who? Lilith's in the house. Thank you so much for joining. We hope you had a really great weekend, a really blessed Sunday, and um, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy where you are. So I uh, had a lot of requests for some great hymns. I've got a lot that I can already do, so thank you so much. And if you have any other hymns, just put it in the notes. I'll do my very, very best. So I've got a few here for the next few weeks. You guys have kept me busy this week, and so I appreciate that very much. So tonight we're going to do an old hymn. You might know it, called Old Victory in Jesus. Uh, I think a lot of us who grew up in church may have sang this just a couple times, maybe once or twice, something like that. So, so join along. We're going to sing all three verses of this bad boy get you all warmed up to have some victory in Jesus tonight. God gives us victory. I, I was trying to find scriptures that would be about victory. There's 116 of them, so I wasn't going to do that tonight. So as I look for the concordance. So needless to say, though, one of the lines in the song is about how he sought me and bought me. 
So I think about the book of Ezekiel in the Old Testament, which is a prophecy of Jesus. It says this, for this is what the sovereign Lord says, I myself will search and find my sheep. I will be like a shepherd looking for his scattered flock. I will find my sheep and rescue them from all the places to which they were scattered, scattered on that dark and cloudy day. I will bring them back home and I will feed them on the mountains and by the rivers and all the places where people live. Yes, I will pull them out from all the dark places where they once were. I will give them good pasture land on the high hills. There they will lie down in pleasant places and feed the, on the lush mountain pastures. I myself will tend my sheep, cause them to lie down in peace, says the sovereign Lord. I will search for my lost ones who strayed away, and I will bring them home safely again. So that was the how God was going to go out and send the shepherd to find all of his lost people, all of his lost sheep, wherever they are in the darkness, wherever they might have, have strayed away from, where life might have happened to them. And he sent Jesus to be that good shepherd. You'll read that in John chapter 10. So this is the prophecy of who Jesus was. He came to find us, and he came to save us, he came to heal us, he came to restore us, and he also came to bring us eternal life. And he laid down his very life for all of the sheep so that they could have forgiveness and, and constantly be in that beautiful pasture that one day we call heaven, which is also sung in the song tonight. So all that pulls together who Jesus is and, and it gives us victory over everything and anything. So no matter what you're going through, no matter how lost you may feel, sometimes we feel that we're in a dark, dark place. The shepherd himself will come looking for you, find you, and bring you by those places of peace, the, the beautiful pastures, the still waters, and he will give you victory over everything, including death. Let us pray. Most loving God, we thank you. We thank you, God, that you sent your son Jesus to come to this world to find all of us, God, wherever we are and whoever we are, God. Some of us have been lost. Some of us have been alone. Some of us have felt beaten down, God, and some of us are sick at heart, mind, or spirit, Lord. And you sent your son to be our awesome shepherd, to be the most beautiful, wonderful, caregiving shepherd that loves us so much that he was willing to lay his very life down for us, God, so that we could be safe and we could be secure. We could be a part of your flock and we could, you bring us out to beautiful pastures by still waters and you give us your peace. And so we thank you for that now, God. I just ask you, God, that you would visit each and every person this night as their personal shepherd. Help them to know this night that you are still seeking those who feel lost. You know where they are, God, so they're never really lost to you. And you can go to them, you can help them, you can redeem them, you can set them free, God. But you can, most importantly, you can nurture and bind the wounds that some of the sheep have, have succumbed to right now, God. But most importantly, you can restore us, you can heal us, and you can give us new life in you. And we thank you for that now. So I pray for everyone this night that they find hope in you. And that if they need something this very night, you will send your shepherd, Jesus Christ, right to them by the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for that now. In Jesus' name, amen. So we have victory in Jesus no matter what we're going through. Remember that, and you, will, you know that all of us, as we go through this time, we're going to have victory because that's who God is. We pray for you. We love you. See you tomorrow night at 7. Don't forget, we have victory in Jesus, says Lulu. Thank you, Lulu. Bye. Bye, Lulu. Boy, Lulu's been to church twice a day. This